What if I told you that two of America's most dangerous volcanoes might be waking up at the same time? Yellowstone and Mount St. Helens, two names that strike fear into scientists, are showing unusual activity again. The ground is rising, tremors are increasing, and experts are watching closely. Could this be the beginning of something big? It all started when a swarm of small earthquakes was recorded near Mount St. Helens, enough to raise eyebrows. But just days later, satellite data revealed something shocking. Yellowstone's ground was lifting faster than usual. That kind of uplift means one thing, magma is moving. And when magma moves, volcanoes can erupt. Mount St. Helens violently erupted in 1980, sending ash across multiple states. Yellowstone hasn't erupted in over 640,000 years, but it's a supervolcano. If it blows, the consequences would be global. Right now, Yellowstone's ground has risen by several inches in a short span. In geologic terms, that's rapid and serious. It means magma is pushing upward, heating rock, and and swelling the earth above it like a balloon slowly filling with air. What's even more alarming, both volcanoes sit near the Ring of Fire, a zone notorious for eruptions and earthquakes. Experts fear that pressure changes at Mount St. Helens could be subtly affecting Yellowstone's deep magma system. The USGS has picked up strange signals, rising gas levels, heat spikes, ground deformation, and microquakes, whispers before a shout. Locals report steaming ground, warmer water, and more frequent tremors. The Yellowstone caldera spans nearly 30 miles. If it erupts, ash could blanket the U.S., dim the sun, cripple crops, and halt air travel. Scientists believe it could become one of the most devastating disasters in modern history. Still, this doesn't mean an eruption is imminent. Volcanoes often stir without erupting. But the concern is that both volcanoes are showing signs together. Could they be connected? Some geologists think underground magma tunnels or faults could transfer pressure between the two. If that's true, one eruption could trigger another, like falling dominoes. Nearby Mount Hood is also showing minor activity. This could point to a broader pattern of geological unrest across the Pacific Northwest. It's not panic time, but it is time to pay attention. Imagine waking up to a sky full of ash, flights grounded, air thick with sulfur, evacuations, power outages, roads cut off. It happened in 1980. It could happen again. But now we have better tools, satellites, sensors, and 24-7 monitoring. Scientists are racing to detect changes before disaster strikes. The Earth is a Live, and it's speaking through Yellowstone and Mount St. Helens. Are we listening? If you found this helpful, subscribe and stay informed. Together, let's keep watching the hidden forces beneath our feet before they erupt into headlines.